Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another review on Classroom of the Elite episode 8 season 3. Now if this episode comes to the conclusion of volume 11, oh, not 11 my dumbass, volume 10 and honestly I have to say I was really really disappointed this episode like I I was kind of bored. I'm not going to lie. The, what was it, episode 6? It was that started volume 10. I thought it started off really strong. It really captured the despair of the exam really well. And then last week's episode was kind of, it was okay, really. It, it was just built up for this episode. And it's it was really the ending that, um, was like the focal point of last week's episode. And this episode obviously picks back up where last week's ended. And on, again, honestly, this episode is just kind of, it just kind of sucked, really. I don't know what it was, but it kind of felt like the quality, animation quality of this episode kind of dropped compared to the previous weeks. And not to say that it had great quality to begin with. I mean, the first episodes really I felt like did, but this episode really felt like weak or in terms of quality. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but personally it just kind of felt that way. But we pick up last week where Hoikta's just explaining to the class why Yamaguchi needs to be the one expelled and reveals how he was working with Arisu and how they were collaborating to get Kyotaka expelled. And, you know, everyone's just kind of becoming sheep at this point because no one wants to get expelled. So they're just following the horde, following the leader, you know. If they don't have to make the choice themselves and instead listen to someone else, it's going to make it a little bit easier on their conscience about having to expel someone to begin with. So they just quietly go along with um, Hoikta. And, you know, obviously because of what Yamaguchi has done, you know, it puts even greater, like, reassurance for the rest of the class. Like, oh, okay, yeah, this is, this is the guy that we need to, that we need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and while that's going on, to, once um, Hoikta's done talking, um, Hiwata, I forgot his name last week, I remember... I don't know if I could say I remember this time, but they he had his moment to shine in this week's. And by shine, I mean kind of reveal his true colors a little bit. Because Hiwata, the past two seasons, has been kind of the itchy no set of Class C now, DC. And he wants to get everyone together. He wants the class to be unified and stuff like that. But... This exam is obviously preventing him from accomplishing that. And the thought of losing a classmate, let alone being the reason why this classmate is going to leave, is really weighing on him. And he kind of, he breaks. He like, he gets upset and angry at Hoikta for targeting one student that should be expelled. And, you know, Hoikta goes the logical route, like, well, that's exactly what he was doing. He's like, yeah, I know, and it's the it's just as deplorable. But that doesn't give us a reason to do it, too. And, you know, he's he's losing himself because it's it, the damn boost right there, pretty much. The Yamaguchi having been expelled by Vo really got to him. And I will say now, despite the quality, I felt like dropping this episode. It's one thing I haven't really been mentioning. The the voice acting from this, from some of the scenes, Yamaguchi's and Hirata's was great. I loved it. It was really well done. They are what really, that was really the highlight of this episode. Because one of my major complaints with this episode was that that tension was... I don't know if it was just me, but personally, I didn't feel the tension at all this episode. The first episode, like I said, was really great in that regard. But the past two episodes, I felt like it was lost. 
Now, I don't know if that's because I was just a light novel reader and I knew what to expect. I knew what was going to happen, but I can't really point out a reason other than it just felt off. Like, I didn't, it was an enjoyable episode. But I would say I was struggling to get through this week's episode. Um, other than that, this whole episode is just about to examine the vote. The um, We see some of the perspectives of the other classes. Uh, class D, for example, and how they're all getting ready to vote UN out. Obviously, we know from last week's episode that uh, Kiyotaka doesn't want him expelled. And... Um, we see here his classmates, Jizaki and Mio Ibuki, um, the blue-haired girl, if you don't remember her, the one who fought Hoikta in the final arc of season one. They kind of don't want him to leave. Like, even though um, Ibuki doesn't really like Ryuen and doesn't really get along with him, she acknowledges what he provides to the class and everything, his strength. So she doesn't really want to get rid of him. And not to mention that she does owe him. So it's actually shown in the flashback that they go to Kyotaka because they know what he is. They know um, what um, he's capable of firsthand, right? So they go to him for help and... We also cut to Ichinose as well as struggling with the decision to date the student council president in order to get the points she needs to save the classmate. That way they don't expel anyone. But um, before this, it's shown that they get Ryuen's private points from him. And he had over 5 million, a little over 5 million. And so Kyotaka with this makes the suggestion or deal Brings Ichinose to them. They all meet up. He's like, hey, we'll help you out if you help me out. Mutual interest. You give Ichinose the points she needs. And in return, the entirety of Class B will give votes to Ryuen to protect them from getting expelled. And that's exactly what happens. So Ryuen actually ends up staying thanks to Kyotaka and Ichinose. And... Ichinosa's class doesn't lose a single person because of that either. So all is well that ends well with those classes. And Yamaguchi at the end, you know, he just gets axed. And it's actually shown that it was hinted at the second leader of class A. Um, oh my god, I'm forgetting his name now. Um he, he was in the final arc of season one, the bald, tall guy. Um, they were targeting him for expulsion in class A because, you know, he's the secondary leader pretty much. He had his own faction and everything. But it's been slowly dwindling due to the progress or deprogress or whatever that class A has been making under his leadership. But his best friend pretty much, his right-hand man, is the one who actually gets expelled. So that was a little twist there. And even he was shocked. Like, he was so sure he was going to get expelled. But actually, he was the one safe from that. So that's pretty much all for this episode. You know, I don't really have much to say. There's not much to recap here either. Um, Ichinose doesn't end up dating Nagumo. So that's all good. She's safe. She's still amazing and adorable and lovable. Class C, unfortunately, had to expel someone, and let's see how big that rift that was just created is going to be. But overall, I, again, just a pretty bad episode, I'd say. Uh, I I don't really want to bring up the light novel, but to bring it up, um, it was a lot better. The tension was there all throughout especially in regards to the expulsion. And I will say again, I think I mentioned it last episode, despite how bad it is, seeing the anime is still good, especially because, again, the voice acting this episode was really, really good. But next week, Volume 11 starts, Peak Fiction, and hopefully the anime can do it justice within three episodes, because I am assuming... 
that episode 13, because there's only 13 episodes this season, is going to be 11.5, like they did with 7.5. But that's going to be it for me. Overall, disappointed. Not surprised. But 1 for 3 is not that good. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.